what's the most fun you can have with your clothes on? Then don't get dirty thoughts because the most fun you can have is driving a car on ice, on slippery surfaces. We are at the Audi ice driving experience in Austria. There's a frozen lake behind me and there are a fleet of both electric cars as well as combustion engine cars. We have the RS e-tron GT as well as the RS5. And in this video, we're going to find out the answers to the questions. Can you drift an electric car? How much fun is it to drift an electric car? Electric car versus combustion engine car. What are the differences? And how do you drift a car? We're going to go through the steps by step process and hopefully over the next two days learn some new things this is going to be fun so before we go ahead don't forget to hit that like button share this video with like-minded drifting enthusiasts and of course if you do enjoy this video stay subscribed to the evo india channel and of course hit that bell icon to stay notified for all our video drops No noise except for the sound of the tires, winter tires crunching into the ice and snow of this frozen lake. This is the start of the two day exercise where we'll be understanding how to make an electric car drift. What we're doing right now is just understanding understeer. Now, we've all experienced understeer. The key is to recover quickly from understeer and get the car dancing back to your tune. So that's what we are starting off with. And after understeer comes oversteer. Now on this test, we switched from the electric car to the combustion engine car. We have more noise, we have more enthusiasm, and of course, oversteer is a hundred times more fun than understeer. In understeer, you are just sliding out of the corner. Hopefully, you won't hit something before you regain grip. In understeer, you just basically get off the gas, unwind lock, and wait for the car to regain traction. In oversteer, that's where you're playing with the car. With your throttle, you're giving more gas, you're keeping it in the slide. With the steering, you're turning into the slide, you're holding the drift, and of course, you're making the car do what you want to do. You're making the car dance to your tunes. test is a lane change maneuver. We're not touching the brakes, you see the obstacle and you change lanes and direction. We obviously have the ESC switched off, so no traction control intervention, no stability program intervention, just your right foot and your steering corrections to make sure that the car is as unsettled as possible and obviously pointing in the right direction. All of this teaches you car control. It gives you and polishes up your reflexes so that later on, when we go full send, which hopefully we will do, we can then control the car better and know what the car is doing. are box stock, the same RS e-tron GTs that you can buy in India, except for one thing, the tyres. These are winter tyres, so if you notice, these are not the fully studded tyres, they just have these small studs, and these small studs bite into the surface and generate traction. In fact, the traction that it generates on this kind of surface is extremely impressive. We can't even walk. We are walking like geriatrics out here because it is so slippery. But these tyres, they deliver impressive grip. The way the tyres bite into the surface when you give it full gas in this, well, I don't know if it's full gas with an electric car, but if you give it the beans with this, all four tyres scrabble into the surface and generate impressive amount of grip. Day two begins with the drift circle. Basically, they've set up a small little circle and you drift around it. What we did for setting the longest drift record 
in a slightly smaller and a little bit more slippery format. So everything that we learned the previous day, it's all coming together. Car control, steering, being precise and also being patient. Let the tail come out, wait for it to get into that sideways attitude and then just hold it, feather the throttle and use the steering to correct it. Again, gun for the longest drift record on a frozen lake. Yes. Very good. Keep it, keep it, keep it. And now from ICE, we move to the EVs, the e-tron GT. On this course, this is sort of like a linked drift where you slide through one set of gates, then go into the other, then go into the other. What you do is you use the weight transfer of the car to work for you. So you get out the gas to get the tail a little bit light, turn in, get on the gas, get the tail out. And that way, using both the throttle as well as the weight transfer, make the car drift through the gates. It looks easy, but it's actually not. And the other thing is that you have to understand how an EV works differently to an ICE. With an ICE, especially a turbo V6, you kick the gas and you get that spike in torque. The spike in torque breaks traction, gets the tail out, then you steer, you correct, you play around with the throttle. Here, it's all very linear. So there's no kick. The more you give gas, the throttle, the more it starts to move out. So you can't just kick it. You have to move it gently. You have to modulate it better. So you need better throttle reactions, better throttle modulation. And once you figure it out, figure out how an EV works, it is a lot of fun. It's just that we are so tuned to driving ICE vehicles that getting to understand an EV, what an EV can do, how much throttle to give it, how much you can do, how sideways you can go, it just takes a bit of learning. It's a learning process. And once you get the hang of it, like there, well, not exactly that, you don't spin, but once you get the hang of it, you can have a lot of fun with EVs as well. It's just, there's not the noise, that emotion, Mm, maybe not. And to end two days at the Audi ICE experience, they've laid out kind of a race track for us on this frozen lake. So slaloms, direction change, U-turns, all of that also braking. We are going to drive both the RS5 as well as the e-tron. We start off in the e-tron, get a practice lap in, have lunch and then the clock starts. Now we got this left turn, so brake. through the slalom as straight as you can be. So I knocked zero cones with the e-tron and 10 cones with the RS5. With the stopwatch counting down, it was the electric car that set a faster lap time. Nearly two seconds quicker than the ICE. But it was the ICE that was the more emotional and involving driving experience. Overall though, driving on ICE, it has to be the most fun you can have with your clothes on.